care of us, bitch. Now, Patty Cake stars Danielle McDonald, who plays an aspiring hip hop artist living in the Jersey area. Now, Patty, who goes by the hip hop name Killer P, is often met with ridicule from her mom and people of her peer group. You don't have a musical bone in your body, and you sure as hell can't sing. What kind of music are we talking about here? The rap. Rapping. Hip hop is a culture that's very based on image, and she has the exact opposite image of what a lot of labels and what a lot of people take seriously as a hip hop artist. Now these points make for a very intriguing look at hip hop culture as a whole. If you enjoyed films such as 8 Mile, you know, the underdog feel of the film talking about resiliency, this makes for a very enjoyable indie film. One of the things I loved about this film was the strong female lead. Now, Killer P makes for a very engaging look at an undervalued and misunderstood view in hip hop music. You know, female artistry in hip hop is not in abundance. It is not something that you see every day. And this movie makes for an engaging look at triumph and adversity. Danielle McDonald does amazing in this film. She brings layers to this character. You get honesty, the truth, grit. Each time she interacts with another character, the scenes just build in such a beautiful way. Their conversations are raw. See yourself in five years. I hope to still be working for you, sir. <laughs> you get a lot of tension that just is relieved when you understand that these characters are actually really there for each other. Danielle McDonald does her best with navigating this landscape, this heavy terrain of morals and it's just beautiful to see a female lead encompass it so wonderfully who doesn't have a huge background in film. Now digging further into her relationships with other characters, I enjoyed everything that she brought in relation to them. You know, her best friend, her grandmother, her mom, Bob, all of them pique your interest. I don't feel like the screenwriters and the director took an easy route out with their dynamics. You feel each one of these characters. They flesh them out. At times, if you feel that one character is being selfish and they're disregarding the world around them, they later reveal something that make you believe, okay, no, they care, they're just dealing with their own demons. To do that in a film, it's, it's unmatched. It's something that's so hard to do because every filmmaker wants to have a protagonist and an antagonist. I don't feel like this one had a clear cut one. And when the antagonist kind of came in at the, you know, towards the end of the film, you still go, I understand what he's saying. So to be able to make every character on screen relatable in one way or another, it's extremely hard to do, but they did it with this film and that just put it over the top for me. I love the commentary in this film on the image of hip hop. Hip hop at times is known to be very discriminate when it comes to what is real hip hop? What should it look like? What should it sound like? This movie does a beautiful job in bridging lifestyle gaps and it brings forth what really matters and that's the music. And if you watch this film and you don't necessarily like the type of hip hop that they're playing or the type of hip hop that is being recorded in this film, it's not the main focus of the film. The focus of this film is showing the adversity of, you know, Killer P, the group that she's hanging with, but also just how you can let music just speak for itself. It doesn't have to be, you know, have an agenda. It doesn't have to be something that somebody else has done before. That's what music is, it's originality, and this film embraced that. This film is just, you know, on all levels, it hits just a unique spot when it comes to the music industry, and I really enjoy that aspect. And I think if you were looking for something different, a different commentary on what hip hop is or should be in just music and how the business works in general, I think this is a pretty good place to start. The one small drawback I had about this film is towards the end of the film, Patty Cakes, AKA Killer P, she gets a love interest. And it's a little obvious who the love interest becomes, but I don't feel like the movie needed it. It doesn't necessarily hurt the film, but it isn't something that really catapults the film or does anything with it. It's a cool dynamic. It almost seems like the, the writers put it in there just to go, you know, wink at the audience to say, hey, love triumphs. But it wasn't anything that I felt I cared for. And so I do think without that, the movie could have been just as good. It didn't detract anything necessarily, but it wasn't something that needed to be there. My final score for this film is a 7.9. It is an enjoyable independent flick that depicts, you know, a kind of alternate lifestyle in the hip hop world, you know, female artistry and it depicts it beautifully. If you are a fan of 
such films as 8 Mile and things of that nature when it comes to music and very niche subjects such as the nature of hip hop, I think you'll really enjoy this film. Well guys, that was my review for the independent film Patty Cakes. Let me know if you've seen it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Thanks guys. Keep your head up, killer. It's a cold world out there.